Hey you guys, so today's video is going to be super, super size Barbie, okay? I opened her already, I, I attempted to do this review about four times already, so she is open, she's out the box, I'm redoing this video completely. So, if you're curious, the box was in really rough shape, she was in mint condition in the box, but the outer box had a little bit of indentations in it. To give you a good size reference, I mean, she's 18 inches high. She is Superstar Barbie. This is her box that she came in, you know, for size reference. I couldn't even fit my hands around it, basically. She's a Barbie doll. She comes with a stand. She's from 1976. Just want to clarify that. Um, so I did open her out the box. I have it right here. Everything's all unsnapped and everything. So let's go over her accessories first and get that out the way. So she does come with um, interchangeable earrings in ear um, and rings. So it's basically, look. It's these little bitty tiny little stars. Hopefully you can see that. Um, it's like little star things, and it's got the little pegs on the end. It's like one of them old school Barbies with the um with the things. Let me just. I should probably show you the Barbie first. That way you understand what I'm talking about. Let me do that first. Okay. So this is her stand that she comes with. She comes with a stand like this, a star stand with a little you know thing like that. Stand basic basic stand right here. This is um, Superstar Barbie. Um, so she was mint in the box, but the box itself was in really rough shape. But when I'm telling you it was in really rough shape, it was bad. Um, so this is Super Super Size Barbie. Okay, you guys, so she's 18 inches high. She has costume jewelry on, which is the earrings right here. Uh, in both ears, she's got a plastic film still on top of her head. I think I'm gonna keep that on her. Her costume jewelry is very reminiscent of real actual jewelry. And this is the dress that she comes in right here. She's wearing a dress. Like, clearly, obviously, you know, oh, of course she's wearing a dress. Um, and it's like this really tiny um, waist. And it's twist and turn like this. Look. She has a twist and turn waist. Um, she's got the old school Barbie arms with the bent things right there. This is her little rings right here. Awesome. Right? Cute, right? Um... And this is her little gown right here. It's very, very sparkly, you guys. It's vintage so it's really, really nice, okay? This gown right here is a two-piece. Um, this gown right here is an elastic waistband on the top, so it just kind of slides on and off very easily. The top has um, little snaps right here. You can see that, hopefully. It's like little snaps, which is really, really cool. I uh, enjoy that. And when you see, this outfit is removable, which is really nice. So let's do that for you guys real quick. So... Surprise, she has a swimsuit on underneath. Look at that, you guys. She actually has a swimsuit on. How cool is that? So this Barbie doll has a universal, you know, quick switch outfit. This is the swimsuit, and she's still got her costume jewelry on, obviously. Swimsuit is on point. And um, so this is a an elastic waistband, so it's very easy to interchange her arm um, thing. She's got that permanent um pose. These legs are vinyl, so if you don't own this doll, this doll is all vinyl. The only thing that's rubber on this doll is the top of her head, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Very cute, vintage shoes, right? And I got her mint in the box. Um, the box is in really rough shape, but I highly recommend you get her in the box because you get all the accessories, and you don't get as badly messed up hair. Like, you'll get some box hair, but it won't be as bad, you know what I'm saying? These are rubber shoes right here. They snap on in the front right here. Really cute, right? I love Super Size Barbie. I'm going to be collecting her. This is her hair, too. She's got some box hair happening. Obviously, um, she's older, but she's actually in really good shape for being the age that she is. Um, 1976, still brain in a box. So, I mean, that's amazing and immaculate. Um, so, she does come with um, interchangeable pants. So, these are the pants. They actually do snap. This doll's whole outfit is nylon. It's like polyester nylon -y feeling I think it's in that you know that that scratchy fabric you know what I'm saying so these are her pants right here these are her little pants um they buckle in the back I'm gonna be putting her putting these on this doll um it's really really a really good investment you guys she is on the expensive side I just want to warn you guys if you want to purchase her she is on the expensive side she is a little bit pricey um, I had to actually like take my iPhone case off too to actually get a good clear picture. So that's why you're getting this kind of clear picture today. 
So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna have her pants on and I'll um, show you the pants, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so I have her pants on. Her pants are amazing. You can obviously see her tiny, tiny waistline that she has. Her pants, they are giving me like reflective, um, this um, zigzag type pattern. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, just a really, really cool, cool, you know, it's very reminiscent of costume material, like that polyester nylon material that you get when you buy Halloween costumes. That's the kind of material this is. Of course, the pants actually do have a snap in the back, which is really, really nice. Um, the fact that they actually even bothered to put a snap on it is really amazing. But I guess back in the day when Barbie was really good quality, it's from 1976. So this doll is solid. I'm just letting you know, even though she's plastic, she's solid. You guys, solid. Like, seriously solid. But um, these are the pants. So they come all the way down to about her little feet. I took her little shoes off. You can see her little feet, her little um, plastic feet. Once again, she is plastic. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Um, so back in the day, these are the accessories now. The Barbie is really nice. Let me give you a good visual of how big she is. This is my head. Okay, she's taller than my head. She's about mid, about my whole torso pretty much. She's the size of an American Girl doll. That's, that's a good size reference. So take your American Girl doll and look at her. She's the same size as that American Girl doll, but except she's a Barbie doll, of course. Very, very pretty makeup. The hair's a little bit ratty, so even back then, they also had box hair. Even back in 1976. So I think she's really, really pretty, you guys. So let's take a look at some of the accessories. So included, you'll get like a little baggie on the side if you actually do like buy her in the box. Included in that little baggie will be her shoes and her pants and lots and lots of accessories will be in the back of the box. She'll come with so much jewelry. This doll comes with so much jewelry, you guys, the new lie amazing jewelry um you'll you'll get some instruction booklets letting you know everything and what everything is for so you won't be like what is this for what is this for um this will be your reference pictures right here parents and children um to set up the doll stand and let you know about how to do everything so they do come in with instructions and identification for every jewelry piece and how does it go how do you do this? They have it in English and Spanish, apparently. Um, and this is a little booklet if it gets lost. Like, these are actual really cool replacement um, booklets, too, which I thought was amazing. Way back when, you can buy, um, you could buy replacement sports. Okay. This is a little, um, Mattel old school thing right here. Really, really cool. I'm sure this is bringing about a lot of memories back for you guys that had this Barbie that remember this Barbie. She was on the pricey side though. I will warn you guys. So let's take a look at the accessories and I'll um, go over the doll again so you get a really good picture. So this ribbon right here, this is to make a necklace for your child of choice. Whatever child this is for, this is like to make a little necklace. What goes over it? This is a pendant right here that goes over the necklace right here. All it is is like a generic little star and it snaps in the back. This is a pendant to go with the necklace right here. This, so this goes around with the necklace right there, which is amazing. And also she comes with jewelry for your child to wear. Um, she has a little um, an actual ring right here, superstar ring. Super size, sorry. So, and this is actual doll necklace. So if you wanna put this necklace on, you have that option also. So. This is a little necklace, it just snaps on right here. The necklace that she's wearing, the Barbie, has just a knot in the back. There's no way you can clasp it on and off, so I don't see why they would include that. That's just my opinion, though. You can have your own, obviously. She comes with interchangeable jewelry. So her earrings and her um, the rings on her hand do pop out very easily, and they have interchangeable star rings. It has a little thing right there. So you can like pop it in her hand and pop it out her earrings, you know what I'm saying? So you can make her look fancy. And she also comes with a hair clip right here. Very cool. Very, see it's got the teeth on there with the snap, so it snaps closed. And you can style your Superstar Barbie the way that you choose. So the pendants are the, the two earrings and the, um, the hand ring also. And this is her crown of glory, you guys. So she comes with this really cool adjustable crown you guys so she can wear this actual crown on top of her head like legit let's see yeah 
It's adjustable for different size Barbies. That's what I'm guessing. That's just me, my opinion, my personal opinion. But um, see, like she, legit, like like, see what I'm saying? Crayon. And it's actually adjustable like a belt. So they have, oops, that was close. I almost took out the light. Okay. Um, it is adjustable. Let me see. See, it's got the different holes in there. So you can actually snap it to a very a smaller size. So I'm going out of the picture for a minute. I almost lost my um my lighting for a minute. So I mean, she is a very expensive doll. I do want to warn you. She's called Super Size Barbie. She's 18 inches. She will come wearing this gown right here. Um, and the pants and all of the ex all of these like okay all of these pop out accessories will be on the back. The pants will be on the side with the shoes. Um, in the hair uh in so in this um this necklace. Sorry, I almost said hair ribbon. It's very reminiscent though. The stand half of it's in the box and half of it's in the back. But this Barbie is beautiful. I'm, I was tripping out when I first bought her. When I first filmed this, I was tripping out how big she is because she is huge. You see this, guys? She look how tall she is. Let me give you a good size reference. Like, she is humongous. This is my hand, and she's bigger than my head. She's vinyl in 1976. Amazing. See, this is a little knot right here. See? They, there's no clasp on the back, which kind of sucks, though. Because I would have enjoyed, you know, maybe taking this necklace on and off of her, making her look beautiful and pretty. So you have that option. So you have three different options for display purposes. You have this kind of like, you know, pants, suits, kind of jumpsuit thing happening right here. You also have the dress and you have a swimsuit choice also. I don't know what I'm, I'm going to do because there's three different options. So... I don't know, I might put her in her swimsuit, maybe her jumpsuit, or maybe her dress. Her dress is elastic. The elastic is a little bit stretched out from the age of the doll. Um, so I might put her next to my Addy doll so you can get a really pretty size reference. I mean, no, I better not. I'm going to lose focus on this camera. But I mean, this video is so clear. I'm going to have to take off my phone case from now on and film these videos. Because, I mean, the definition is ridiculous. You can even see my red face right now. This is crazy. But, I mean, she is very, very nice quality. She's from eBay, you guys. So, if you want her, if you don't have to pay in to $80 to $90 to $100 price range for this doll, depending on who you buy it from. These dolls are very, very expensive. I would highly recommend you collect these dolls. They're very much really, really pretty, pretty dolls, you guys. I mean, highly collectible. Not for so much play because... $100 is a little bit steep to pay for a Barbie doll that you're just going to play with and mess up. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy collecting my Barbies and keeping them nice. I like to keep the little bands on top because it keeps the hair nice. You know what I'm saying? I'm just got really bad OCD. And then if anything, like this doesn't bother me right here. This is okay. The top of the hair, like the little strings and things like that, that drives me insane. So I'm going to be keeping her on her little plastic thing. I'm going to put her on a stand so you can get a really good view of her on her stand so you can see what she looks like. Okay, hold on. Okay, before I go any further though, she do, will come with factory defects. So when you get her, she will have little melt marks on her body. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but the, but you see right here. So if you're really OCD about, you see that? It's like a little scar or a scratch thing right here. That's a melt mark from the factory where she came from. So, if you see these, don't you know? Don't worry about it. It's fun. It's just a, it's just the age of the doll. And back then, they did have a lot of dolls with melt marks, especially the Amigo um, fashion dolls, like Farrah Fawcett, Wonder Woman. They all had their melt marks all over their bodies. It's, it's the same thing with this doll. Not so much the legs, just like the neck knobs in general. I've seen that a lot of dolls have that neck knob problem where they're melting on the neck. But it's not the actual doll. It's just the factory. So I'm going to put her on a stand and I'll be right back. So stay tuned. Okay, you guys. I have her on my desk right here. And I want to show you the stand. Um, So the stand is very nice, you guys. Um, It does clip on the back as far as you can see like that. Hopefully, I'm not making you guys only hear any noises or things like that. But, um, and don't, hopefully, you're not distracted by the dolls, too. Um, so the stand base is right here. It's a little star right here. And as you can see, she is tilted forward a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me get a better angle for you guys. So, you guys, um, so this is the bar right here up close. You can see kind of she's a little bit tilted. This is how the stand will come right here. 
It'll be at an angle tilting. But you cannot have the Barbie without the shoes on. Otherwise, she's a little bit wobbly. So it's a highly good recommendation of mine to have the shoes on the doll in general. Just it'll be a lot more stable with, with the doll and the shoes on there just in general. Hopefully the dolls are not distracting you guys. But it seems to hold her very, very well. This is the original outfit that she will come in just like this with the elastic waistband. She, she is wobbling a little bit. I will tell you that though, when I'm moving her around, she's a little bit tilty and shaky. Um, there's the base of the stand clip right there. Um, like I said before, she will have them little defects, these little melt marks right here. If you guys can see that, hopefully. Um, this little pretty costume jewelry right there. So, yeah, I think she's a beautiful doll, you guys. Really nice base stand right here. It has a star base right here. These are all, all of her accessories. The shoes are very, very cute, you guys. They fit nicely on the stand. Once again, you guys, she's all vinyl. So, I mean, but she is a very, very expensive doll. So, only for collectors, I would recommend this for, considering the price that she is. You know, she is a very expensive doll. This is factory um, scratches right there. It's just, they have, like, little defects all over this doll. You will get a defective doll. More, more than likely, it'll have something wrong with it. So, just try to um, check the eBay pictures. Really um, good. You can see it right there. So, if you have really bad OCD, it's going it, to, this doll is going to bug you. I'm telling you. Look at this jewelry though. This is the interchangeable jewelry right here. You got this one right here. And you got the two earrings right there, which will fit with these right here. Let's see if it'll get hopefully it'll get. Yeah, you see this kind of earring right here? These are little like gold things. Let's see if I can get a close-up. Ooh, bright light. Yeah, you see this? This is interchangeable right here. So you can actually slide them in and out. A doll's ears right here. And it's really nice though to have a doll that you can interchange and things like that. She's from 1976, you guys. As you can see, I'm going to put it next to Addie. She's as big as Addie, you guys. This is my Addie doll and she's doing quite well, isn't she? But I mean, she's as big as an American Girl doll, you guys. Just, I mean, the same size pretty much. Um, so she's 18 inches high. She's a very large doll. Um, so... What do you guys think? Leave some comments in down below. Just remember to like and subscribe and you'll see more doll videos. Bye!